Welcome to Foley Field in Athens, Georgia. Today it's game two of the annual weekend series, clean old-fashioned hate, as the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets are in town to take on the Georgia Bulldogs. And Marekna looks in, Fernando Gonzalez, his catcher, and the ball is hit in the air to Phelps, and Phelps' sunglasses flashing, has it for out number one. So no balls and two strikes to Cam Jones. Right back up the middle, base hit. Throw it to first, and it gets away from Jordan. Cam Jones hops up and heads to second base on the error by the Bulldogs. As the pitching coach as well, that's his forte. Runner goes, blooper to the second baseman. They've got a double play at second, and the inning comes to a close just like that. Because Wes Johnson, he loves to mix and match. He likes to change the batters based on the pitching matchup. So, Bird oh, there is we from go. old Avon Farms High School. 3-2 pitch. Ball is hit to deep center field. Burris goes back to the track, circling right there at the wall, leaps and makes the grab for out number two. Burris hit four on Tuesday against Georgia State to set the school record. Little blooper in the right field going to fall for a base hit. Logan Jordan aboard. Had to find himself on base. It's Trey Phelps. Hits it on the ground to the shortstop. Green tosses the second. Inning comes to a close. So both teams have base runners in their first inning. Neither one can score. We'll head to the second. No score here in Athens. 0-2, oh, got him swinging. Strikeout number one for Marakna. And a four-pitch walk after striking out Ellis. Pachetti gets his lead. He's going with the pitch. It doesn't matter. That's ball four. So two aboard for Georgia Tech here in the second. 2-2 two -two pitch. Called strike three. Marakna, after walking two, ends up striking out the side. Ellis to start, walks to Bacchetti and Zmarzlik, then strikeouts of Younger and Jaros. We head to the bottom of the second. You know, the ball doesn't really start to fly until the, the weather warms up a little bit, but they've gotten off to a real hot start. Tates strokes that to right field, second hit of the day for Georgia. So Paul did not disappoint. Two for three, four RBI, including the home run we were talking about, the three-run shot, and he's aboard with the walk. And Bulldogs got something going here in the second with the first two aboard. How about the Demon Deacons? They got a pitching staff, a weekend pitching staff. They're talking about three first-round draft picks. Ball is stroke to right field, going back and retreating as Brocious makes the play, tagging from second and headed to third is Tates. And so the fly ball off the bat of Gonzalez Advances, takes the third base. Dogs have runners at the corners and one down. Means 10 strikeouts in their 12-2 win over Cornell. 1-2 pitch. Chopper on the infield should score the run. Charging the shortstop. Green throws him out with a stretch by Jones at first base, but the Dogs take the lead. 1-0 on the ground out RBI by Colby Branch. To get it back to full. Be a big Two out RBI really give a lot of momentum to Georgia. Call strike three. Dylan Carter caught looking at the knees. And the Bulldogs leave Ferris out at second base. But they get a run on the ground out by Colby Branch. As we head to the third. Georgia on top, one nothing here at Foley Field. 3-2 pitch. That ball is stroked well to right field. Phelps going back to the wall, and it's over it. Home run for Parker Brocious, and we are tied at one. First home run for Brocious, and RBI number three for the sophomore out of Lambert High School in Swanee. Yeah, Brocious not trying to do too much right here. It's a ball, that's not a bad pitch down and away get the barrel on it. That was a line shot. Got out of here in a hurry. Off the hands. Out of position, the first baseman, Colton Smith, gets over there to cover the bag. 
Jordan got out of position going for the ball, but Colton Smith does his job and covers the bag. Good play there since Ron Polk's team went 8-0 back in 2000. A little number off the bat of Alford charging the third baseman, Jaros, and throws him out for out number one. Hot shot. One hopper to the shortstop. Green throws him out. It's really incredible to watch as the season goes. A guy that just swings and always seems to barrel the ball up. Right now, that's Condon. Back up the middle. Glove by the second baseman. Bacchetti throws him out. Highlight real play by the second baseman, Bacchetti, to throw out Logan Jordan. And a quick bottom of the third for Georgia. Heading to the fourth. Tied at one. Chance at it, and then he kind of Comes in, gets around, and makes a good throw on the first. Now, I've thought about this subject a lot because I've watched a lot of baseball in my life. Ball has hit up the chute. And second baseman going to take it. Oh. Megan Powell. Our Strike looking. Zamarzalak goes down. Hit on the ground to the shortstop and gobbled up by Branch. And Tech goes one, two, three here in the top of the fourth. An inning loss to Michigan State on Wednesday for their first loss of the season. Pitch bounces away from the catcher, Ellis, and Phelps goes running down to first base. Two, two to the third baseman. Second one on to first, double play. Turned nicely by Jaros, Bacchetti, and then Jones. Big kid, 6'5", 227. Georgia's got a, large, a lot of large humans on their roster. This ball is stroked to center field. Burris comes in, can't make the catch. Trapped it. On the ground to the shortstop, Green. Toss to second, inning over. So the Bulldogs can't do anything with the two-out hit by Ferris and will head to the fifth. We're still tied at one at Foley Field. Five degrees yeah. warmer. Hot shot. Great play by the third baseman, Condon, for out number one. But uh, Charlie believed in what Wes Johnson was selling. Ground ball hit deep in the hole. Backhanded by Branch. Long throw. Two out. Well, well, we're weak in this spot. Here's your opportunity. 0-2 oh, pitch is hit to center field. Tracking back is Carter. Back in the wall and off the wall. Got over his head. Burris chugs in the second. He's headed to third. Here comes the throw in. Cut off. Thrown by Branch to Condon and safe with a sliding triple is Drew Burris. Man, that thing just kept going on Dylan Carter. I thought he had a shot at it. He collides with the wall at the same time the ball gets there. Yeah, Burris squares it up. Carter had a beat on it. Tailed back over a little bit. Difficult catch. It had a lot of carry. One two pitch to Jones. Got him! And a big strikeout by Colton Smith after the triple by Burris. He is left standing there 90 feet from the plate. And we're halfway through, still tied at one. Sure does. One ball, one strike to Colby Branch. Hit him. Got his jersey. Great numbers on the season to this point. 2-2 two -two pitch to Alford. Little tapper back to the pitcher. Finitary goes to second. Gets the out there and on to first for the double play. Man, that is a hard double play right there. Huge play. A 1-6-3 with players off balance. Finitary does a great job, Jason, of fielding his position. Yeah. This weekend as well. Peyton Green draws the walk, so he's aboard for the first time today to start the sixth inning. <laughs> I don't know that I've never, I don't know that I've ever seen them not signal. Chopper to Condon makes a great play and throw. Two down in the inning. Just saved a run right there. That thing bounces over his head. And the one-two pitch. Got him, called strike three. Two-two pitch. Hot shot towards the gap. Oh, they've got it covered. Not towards the gap as much as I thought it was. 
SEC Network Plus. Line drive, and that is in the gap. Phelps digs for second, and he is safe. Heck of a play by Burris right there. That ball, 105 exit velocity shot into the gap. He does a great job at cutting it off, and what a throw back in. A lot of balls hard. But... Georgia's actually got more hits than they do for three. Ground ball to the right side. That's going to get Phelps to third, and that's in the final out anyway. And that is the end of the inning as the Georgia Bulldogs cannot cash in on the double by Phelps. 3-1 pitch. Right back up the middle. Makes him jump the rope off the glove of the second baseman Alford. And into center field for a base hit. The fourth hit of the game for Tech. Still can't catch a fly ball. Put on the ground. Condon's going to go to first for the out. Sacrifice moves younger to second. Out of the ball. Tech's been under pressure. Yeah, George hasn't put as much pressure on the Tech pitcher as they put on the Georgia pitchers. Popped up, shallow center field. Carter in to make the play for out number two. Of course, that's all his ACC rankings. 3-0, walks on four pitches. Lopers has given up four earned runs, nine hits, one walk, seven strikeouts. Hot shot, Condon, another great play. Hustles to the bag and got him. Sports Center top 10 nominee, Charlie Condon. Well, he dives glove side, and then he dives backhand, stolen two doubles and a single to this point in the ball game. And a big play right there to keep it tied up. Plays out, dives through the bag to get that third out. Georgia Tech's probably up 4-1. Yeah. At least. No doubt. If not for Charlie Condon and the play that he's made at third base. And Ferris goes down looking weekend and then they've got that ball to scorch towards the gap and gone Talked about Gonzalez's defense and how that bat can kind of match up and catch up to that defense, make him a complete ball player. He's really off to a good start in that. Plays off the slider, gets the fastball out over the plate. Doesn't miss it right there. Good line shot. Carried over the fence. And that gets the crowd to their feet. It's been a kind of a pitcher's duel to this point. Chopper gets to Diamond, who throws him out. That ball will find you, won't it? As soon as you get in the game, you got to figure the ball is coming to you. Ground out. Up the shoot. Left field. And now the left fielder, Younger, will take it for out number three. But Georgia changes the game with Fernando Gonzalez. Stroking one into the left center field gap. And Georgia on top 2-1 as we head to the eighth. Time starting to run short for the Jackets. Well, he's looming. Ooh. Tight inside and a walk for Peyton Green. It was escaping me before it was escaping you. <laughs> Chopper up the middle, glove behind the bag. Colby Branch will throw to first to get the out there. One down as Peyton Green moves to second. Yes, as well made it to the big Mike Nickius, you're right. Used to be an assistant coach with the Jackets. Condon again, another nice play. Solid play at third base, two down. One ball, one strike. Back up the middle, gets by the pitcher. Behind the bag, the flip over by Alford, who got him. Huge play by Alford, who's transitioned well from third base to second base, and that ends the threat for the Jackets here in the eighth.
Hot shot into left field. That's a base hit. Alford hits first. He heads to second. Bobbled out there in the corner, and he's going to pull in at second base with a double. Bulldogs looking to add a run here in the bottom of the eighth and put some distance between themselves and Georgia Tech. Third double for Alford. Alford getting that pitch on the inner half there. Gets the head out. Younger gets a little tied up with this, trying to cut it off and hold Alford to a single. I think it's double regardless, so no harm there. Brings up Charlie Condon with a base open. Charlie Condon, they're going to walk him, so unless this game goes extra innings, the nine-game hitting streak is going to end right there. For three today, and one of Georgia's now six hits. Puts the bunt down to Cam Jones. Tosses with the glove and got him. What a play by Cam Jones. I told you he's got wow. a great glove. What a defensive play right there. In the top of the ninth. Hot shot in the left field, base hit. Condon touches second. There's the insurance run. He's going to score. Stinson motors in the third, and Phelps into second, sliding with the double, and Georgia leads 3-1. to one. Phelps picking up his teammate in Stinson right there, delivering a huge RBI double. Second double in a row for him. Harris at 167 on the season, skies this one down the line in right field, and Brocious in foul territory has it. And Georgia gets a run, but no more as they strand two in scoring position. We'll head to the ninth, Georgia on top, three to one. He's got that wipeout slider. I feel like that's, that's key in getting out of those tight situations, that swing and miss slider. And ball four, and Younger's aboard, so the tying run comes to the plate. 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss. One down here in the ninth. Younger off the bag at first. Represents their second run, and if they can get him home, Tapper on the infield. Nice play by the new second baseman, <laughs> Trey King, and there's two down in the inning. And one out to go for Georgia Tech as Younger advances to second. On the infield, Branch charges, gloves, throws, got him! Georgia wins. Three one final as the Dogs take a 1 0 lead in this weekend series. They'll play tomorrow at Cool Ray Field. Fernando Gonzalez. The big home run in the seventh that put the dogs on top for good.